So we've just returned from a really tiring day. The city was chockers. And this world's biggest Lego store, which is on two stories on Pitt Street Mall in city, all I can say was chaos. There were people everywhere. The lines weren't very good. It was actually just really unpleasant in a lot of ways to look in there because there was just so many people. There's just kids running around everywhere. There's bits of Lego everywhere. And it was actually not that nice. But however, we did get this. And this is the main reason we went. And I'm just going to show you. So we've got this customizable Lego mini figurine. This is about $20. You have to go to the counter and you gotta buy this box first before you go and then you go to a separate line where you customize your Lego minifigure on a computer and you just wait and it prints it out. There's quite a few choices of what you can do <laughs> and this is mine. So this is the Lego that I got. This is the part that's customizable. So it's the torso bit. So you go and design it on this computer. So I've got this little press pass thing and there's a little camera on it and on the back it's really hard to see because it's super small and I don't know if it'll focus on it, probably won't. So right in there, I've actually got rid of Derek Chai Media. This is a promotional piece for my channel. So you get the torso and then you've just got to go to one of the bays of the stations and you've got to pick out a head, some headgear, the bottom and one accessory. Most people were filling the box up with loads of accessories, but there was just so many people, it was hard. They didn't have a great variety in little pieces, which was a bit frustrating, but that's mine. It's super small. It's pretty cute though. You get this thing which says Lego Sydney on the back and then you get your name on a little brick, which is cool. And you put the man on the brick. So that's it. Like, as I said, people were just putting loads of accessories in here. No one was keeping an eye. There was just chaos. You didn't get a great variety of accessories, to be fair. There were only two stations and they were not separate. So whether you were getting these customized ones or whether you were just making your own minifigures, you just went to the same place. You couldn't really get in. They had not a great choice of accessories. They didn't have any swords or anything cool like that, but that's it. So we traipsed all the way into the city to get this thing which in some ways is pretty cool. And the unique thing is that you get your name on here and you can customize the back and that's it. So we caught the train home and that's about the day we came back exhausted. The city was way more busy than I thought it was gonna be. In fact, I haven't been in the city since before COVID started and it's just really packed. And I didn't think that it was a terribly enjoyable experience actually going in there, but getting this Lego minifigure in was the best. The only reason that I would go to the Lego store in the city is if you're after particularly this customizable Lego minifigure, there's a lot of unique stuff that you can get there that you can't get in some of the other stores, but you can just order it online. I wouldn't go into the city just for that because it's packed out. It's really unpleasant. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.